Welcome back to TK Tennis. So my son and I were watching this video from Tennis Warehouse yesterday. This was with Dennis Fabian from Head, the global business manager ahead, and Chris from Tennis Warehouse. And they were reviewing this racket measuring device that measures swing weight, static weight, balance, and twist weight. And there's a couple things that I saw in here that I thought were really bad practices. So nothing against Dennis and Chris. It looks like it was a very hectic scene at the Tennis Warehouse tent, but this stuff is important. I think people need to do these things right. And there's a couple of things that was done in this video that I don't agree with and that should be done better. Let's take a look at the first problem is them measuring swing weight. And now we need to measure the swing weight. Do you see anything wrong so with So it shows this? now the twist weight, but the machine will detect Even that we do the swing weight right and then that pops over. The first thing is if you're measuring swing weight, they are doing it without strings, they're doing it without a grip, and they're doing it without a dampener. Now, maybe if you're a professional customizer for professional players, you already know what the strings are gonna put in, what they're going to weigh, and you know the overgrip. But for general purposes, when you're measuring these things, you wanna measure the playing weight of the racket. So that includes with an overgrip, which adds about five grams of static weight, Strings typically add anywhere between 15 and 20 grams of weight, plus changes the swing weight dramatically. And it depends on the type of string that you're using and the thickness of the string. But I usually go with about 18 grams for string. Depends also on 16 by 19 or 18 by 20 pattern and the size of the racket and all those variables. And then even the dampener adds two to three grams usually of weight. So if you're gonna customize your racket, you don't wanna do it this way. You wanna do it in its playing form, with its drum, with a dampener, with a grip. I think this is just, obviously they're just showing how they would measure swing weight without any of that, but for all practical purposes, you don't wanna do this. Now let's take a look at problem number two, and this is them adding weight to the handle area using lead. But thanks to uh, our lead tape, you also need to be careful. Like, do you always wash your hands? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty, it's not a nice material to actually work with. So we took off the replacement grip and he's putting lead underneath the replacement grip. So we will put grip, one gram down lead. here. One gram. All right, so let's talk about this. Now you certainly can do it that way, but that's not best practice. You're putting lead underneath the replacement grip. Will you sweat through it? Will you be in contact with lead? Maybe, maybe not, probably not, but it will make the grip a tiny bit bigger. Maybe you will feel that, maybe you won't feel it. But in just general, it's sloppy in my opinion, and there's an easier way to do it. And he did mention it, but I don't know why they didn't show it. So let's just do it right here. So the better way to do it would be simply use tack. Instead of using lead tape, use this right here. It's scotch, scotch removable mounting putty, also known as TAC, T-A-C, right here. So let's say I have two grams of TAC right here, and I have a scale, so a gram scale. So if this is two grams, I'd put it on the scale, I'd weigh out two grams. Instead of taking off the grip, instead, you take a screwdriver into the little notch, and you pop out the butt cap right there. Now you can see that I already have tack already pushed up inside. So you would just push this tack up inside, smush it in, put the butt cap back on, and now you have two grips. Now you have two grams in the handle. And you could take this out a little bit or a lot at any time. In a year from now, in a day from now, this is easily removable with a screwdriver and you just pluck it back out. This is a much cleaner way. It doesn't impact the circumference of the grip. You don't have to remove the grip and it's just much cleaner. And in my mind, much more professional. Some people will use silicon, like silicon that you buy from Home Depot or something, but that's more permanent. This is permanent or it's not. It just depends on what you want. It's very flexible and very clean. So this would be the much better way to add weight into your handle. And it's something that I do on pretty much every racket. And while you can put lead tape under the handle, there's a better and easier way to do it. So that's it for this video. If you wanna see the, the correct way to do it, or let's say the better way to do it, I did a video on this a while back. I'll post it in the description below. I'll put a little screenshot right up here. And at the end of the video, 
watch that video. That's the way to customize your racket. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next days.